I am. Okay. So one of the things that was brought to my attention before we call on the last person, were you the last person, Jane? Okay. Um, one of the things that was brought to our attention is that we have the news here now. Um, so we don't mind the Occupy news, but how do you guys feel? Do we, we're not, is anyone comfortable with that? I don't think at this point we should release a statement or right. anything. Right. Great. We're okay. still preparing. Right. Okay. Is there anyone that's, that's majorly opposed to us not Letting the media, the St. Louis news media, film this. Is there anyone that really wants them to film this? Are you videoing this right now? Hold on one second. This is a transparent news. It's transparent. You guys are going to have to do it. One voice. One voice. We have someone that was just speaking to the media. Um, there's a camera from NBC here. We're in a public space, and so they, of course, can film. I just want everyone to be aware that there is a corporate media camera taking audio and visual. Rachel, is it possible that we can ask them nicely not to since we have people here that have been arrested and cannot speak to the media yet? Okay, okay, we have a couple things. This discussion is aimed at dealing with what happened last night. We have, we were just going to do a quick review before we broke into groups and that's now taking longer. We have two people who can maybe speak quickly if possible and then we'd like to break into groups we have a lot of people who have a lot of things on their mind i just want to really quickly say that i was on the phone last night and i was talking to the mother of the person who was in jail convulsing and having uh, he was in and out of consciousness and things like that and that was the hardest talk i've ever had with a person um she was so concerned about her son and it really touched me so much. I mean, it was, it was really hard last night because he hadn't had a medical history. Of, sorry. He hadn't had a medical history of, and it was, the warden has said that um, it was not a responsibility because he was not in the jail yet. He was in the old cell. It, that was just so hard for me to deal with. I'm like, you in jail, and they're not taking care of you. They're not doing what's right to do. I mean, this is, this is customary for a jail system, though. This is, I mean, they do this to everybody time and time again. This is just not a, a once in a lifetime occupied occurrence. This happens too often. Um, it really just hurt my heart that I'm talking to this lady about her son in jail and there's nothing we can do because they telling us that there's nothing they're gonna do because it's not their responsibility. It was all messed up. This lady, God, she was just talking. I mean, it was hard. I'm size since I said this before I'm from the ACLU we're trying to collect a, you know a treasure trove of information about from eyewitnesses so I've got forms I'll be passing them out into small groups they're completely confidential they won't go outside the ACLU but we can use those to leverage power in the community here and make a difference and I just want to emphasize too especially for folks who are in jail we have ongoing issues with people in jail having very similar experiences. So anybody who can give us those kinds of eyewitness accounts, we can make a real difference in this community. So please do that if you feel comfortable. I live in St. Louis, about four blocks north of here. I attended a number of events last fall, and uh, yesterday was my first, and I was not there for this terrible incident. But I'm appalled to hear all this these reports because last year our St. Louis cops, this is for the benefit of everybody not from St. Louis, last year our St. Louis cops 
were friendly and supportive. I can't believe this is the same group. And I'd like that to be something we talked about in our group Not the same as well. OK, so we're going to break into groups. OK, quick announcement before we move on about the Monsanto action. So there is a Monsanto action scheduled at 1230, which is 10 minutes from now. It's going to be happening. We're going to be leaving from Arsenal and Grand down there at the corner. Uh, we have to march about 20 minutes walk, um, and we're going to be doing it pretty fast. So uh, we also have some vans available. There will be two people that will be driving vans. Uh, if you can't, if you would rather take that, uh, uh, you can come find me.
That's the landlord's tax rate. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes.
failure to apply with that, so that was taken off. So no, anything that happened yesterday is still on the city. We would not, we would not have been denying a permit. We would not have been not accepting of their offer. So we are keeping that all separate so we can move forward with legal issues and legal matters. I was attracted to Occupy because in the United States we labor under the myth that everyone is middle class, right? We never ask what they're in the middle of, right? And I think in, in many respects, Occupy has shattered that myth that somehow uh, we're all middle class, we're all upwardly mobile. If you just play by the rules, uh, then everything will, will, will be okay. And I think Occup the, the movement has raised that that those kind of questions in a very compelling kind of way. It's attractive to Occupy. And so I commend you for the work that you, you've done. The society we exist in now is a society in which we see the state, the government, the public retreating from any sense of obligation to the citizenry. The most important asset that any society has is a citizenry. And when you dump them, then you've, you've undermined the basis for any real society any stable society, any civilization as far as I'm concerned. And we see that occurring. Yeah, 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 yeah